Welcome back, everybody, to more Tomb Raider Legend! Woo -hoo! Where we're gonna see if uh, Nick hits this crate. Nah, I didn't. <laughs> this crate, sure. I still missed. <laughs> Well, down real bad. I heard chill. That's right. Aww. <laughs> Timing's everything. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll drop like a pebble or something. <laughs> we did it, bro. It's all that in the clear. Oh, oh. Heck yeah. I got it, don't worry. Oh, oh. There's more healing, I think. I... Enemies. Oh, it's a truck. I don't think I'm doing a big old truck. Oh shit, they decaying. Now what? How are you gonna get Where's the guy? Oh shit! You gotta ramp up! Bugatti. 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 I'm too good at this. You are the Tomb Raider. Oh, fuck! Kill the guy? Yeah. Not my motorcycle! <laughs> Technically, it's still on. <laughs> so? Brought imply the connection between the stone dice and the rune near Pariso. I hope Anaya will meet me there despite it all. We may not find anything besides a dozen corpses. Amanda's among them, but I have to know for certain. Jeep! Officially licensed. Legs officially licensed. <laughs> what are a few years after all, when stacked atop thousands more? There's something I didn't tell you before. I think Amanda might not have died down there. Is that what this is about? Closure? Isn't that what it's all about? Why we dig up the past? To understand it? I am an engineer, Lara. I build for the future. I don't dwell in the past. You will someday. Eventually everyone does. Jason says we're about to break through. <laughs> we have some structural concerns. Would you just get down here? Is it both right? Or a plane in the past. This looks like old Tomb Raider. It does. She got her classic, her classic, classic outfit. outfit. You know. Are you sure those other games are not connected to this one? Yes, hundred percent. Ah, the anniversary is actually a remake of the first game. This is the prequel to anniversary, so. The planks over the sinkhole broke, so you're gonna have to swing across. That's very strong. Is that her body? I mean, she definitely got fucking thrown. Proud of you. <laughs> 
How many flares do you need? Oh shit. Oh Sarah. Oh God. What's happened? Oh <laughs> <laughs> A little too rough. I was waiting for you to walk into that. I was trying to say she was playing a little too rough, if you know what I mean. But then, that happened. Sarah, I need your... I need you to move. Aha! Yeah, you're right. Start swinging. I think I wouldn't figure this out. I've played these games before. Oh, yeah. I'm a puzzler. We are puzzling, that's for sure. My. God. It's Jim Bob. Over here. Kent. You can't. One moment. I need to throw my flare. Yeah, looks safe. Whoa. What's going on? It killed Oscar. What did? I don't know. I don't know. I can see. Get one bunch. Get me out. It's all right. What? There's a hole above me. You've got to get me out. Hurry. We've got to get out of here. Just melt the bars with the players. Yeah, a dung beetle. Believe me, sir. You can figure this out. Hurry, Lara. Come back. Hang on. I'm coming. Grab the rope. Lara, grab the rope. You can grab the rope from there. They might be open from here. It's coming! Damn it, Lara! I'm almost there! Sorry, I was I was trying to grab a rope for like three hours. <laughs> hey, I think I see a light. Stay there, Kent. I'm coming down. Amanda? Amanda! Yeah. It's her! Wait! Kent! Running scene? Indiana Jones time? I don't know what that means! I'm pushing. Got odds. Push it. Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh, 
way. I do everything myself. Yeah, we do. Oh no. <laughs> Terrible, Nick. Wow, good job. I don't want to hear from the Cheesecake Factory over there. Do I want to go to the Cheesecake Factory? I've never been there still. I've been there. I could not have cheesecake for most of my life. And so there were the opportunities. They have good food. Besides cheesecake. Well, cheesecake is also really good food. Momentum. That wasn't enough momentum. Stuck by right nut. You don't have nuts. We've already established this. <laughs> Great dick. There we go. Laura can have it. Left one's taken already. <laughs> Alright, you got this. It's not, it's not, um, not Terra Strong. Oh, good job. Flash wound. <laughs> Shake recover from that. Yeah, I made this right. Backstory. Uh, I think this might be the same thing, but relevant implied connection between the stone dice and the rune. Is. Yeah, okay, it is. I think Amanda might not have died down there. Quotation, quotation. Oh, dot, dot, dot. Doesn't corpses. To be perfectly honest, I think this is a terrible idea. Everyone agreed to leave things as they were. I will as much as I can. But from what Rutland said, I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother. I have to go back. There's no use trying to enter at the same point. It's caved in. The river had to get in there somehow. I leave you to figure out the how. Swan dive? I can't go down there. I'm sorry. It's fine, really. If there's any trouble, call Zip and he'll patch you through. 
Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. So, how are you getting in? The same way as the water, I hope. If you get a call from Anaya, patch her through straight away. I'm a little concerned about leaving her by herself. I'll keep her company. I didn't do it. Hold a tappy. <laughs> I kind of did it. I don't know, man. I didn't see a swan dive there. There you go. What if it broke it? <laughs> there you go. Redemption. <laughs> Better. There we go. <laughs> Look how much distance he got underwater, though, too. That's actually pretty good. We better know where to go, so he there. You should always know. Go down. Get the air. Anything up there? Anything grab on there? No. Rudeness. I'm not going up. There we go. Clipping on the edge. <laughs> Not Mario Sunshine. No, it's Mario 64. We're in Dire Dire Docks. Oh, sounds terrible. Dire Dire Docks is alright. It's less alright when you're getting attacked by eels, but you know. I believe, sir, you need to drain the water here. Yeah, I think that's for. Well, maybe not. Never mind. It's on a timer. Oh. Wow, that didn't give you like any air. I have come with my eagle pendant. I've come for my pickles. Yep. For your pickles, actually. Is that what I think it is? It's called an anachronism. It was Amanda's. I doubt someone fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. Oh shit, you're out of oxygen. Collectible. Heck yeah. Collect these nuts. Ah! 
Aha! That already taken. <laughs> it tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great... Titicaca. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise the and what they were doing. <laughs> it's a real place, Nick! Power struggle. But she died escape. shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King oh Arthur. Gosh, you take yeah, a the similarities are striking. King Arthur. Well, it's, <laughs> it's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal yeah. blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical staff or sword. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one, too. Hear that? Have you figured out what the lore is? I was not paying attention for it. That's why I pointed to it. I was, I was doing other things. There's a story about a person assisted by a great what? wizard. This is a double A. Probably. A great wizard to become come into great power. Oh, uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings. No. Sounds like Lord of the Rings mythology to me. Fair. Well, Lord of the Rings is probably based on this one, too. Yeah, so they each each of the games have, like... Well, technically, our uh, anniversary has quite a few mythologies it deals with. But, um... This... This one is our is Celtic, the Arthurian legend. We'll sail that. <laughs> Mister, I'm watching a cutscene that is implying I'm at a quick time with one hand. <laughs> We're good, don't worry. I figured it out. He's just staring at that nice behoozum. Why, thank you. Oh, go, 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 go. Wow. I was looking at that Lake Titicaca. <laughs> Might be a good place to use the rad mode of your binoculars. Brody you was right. right. <laughs> you could move that. It's you, Nick. What? It's the wall. Look at it. It's you. Oh, yeah. That's how, how I always stare into See, it. both the ladders. You got both your penises. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure I have enough for Lake Titicaca. <laughs> oh, there's one of your balls. <laughs> there's me staring at your balls. <laughs> Hear that? She's impressed. Oh, Lake Titicaca. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're we're the type of people that was the reason why they changed us. They they uh changed Laura. <laughs> it's Josh's fault. I'm surprised I didn't kill you. Hmm, that's a grapple. Make a ball. That. Oh, your other ball! I like that one. It was nice, but it was in the way. All right, now you got to put the balls in the right spot. It'll fall in the hole. Oh, come <laughs> on! <laughs> Shaman, a dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viracocha's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the 
same one we saw in Tuanaku. There's more than just one Deus, but possibly. So the shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. A caliber. Coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. We we're getting Excalibur. Yeah, so that piece that we saw earlier that got that the guy had, um, that, that's a piece of Excalibur. But you're, to be fair, Laura's more intrigued about the di the deus because she hasn't seen her. It's implied she hasn't seen her mom since the uh, since since she pulled the sword out. So holds Excalibur out of the stone. Yeah. So she's looking for both, but the di the deus is and being able to use it is the real trick. So where is the third ball? That was brilliant. Nice. I think you're going about that wrong. Yeah, I think with portals. There we go. What are those cobwebs? I see the third ball. Go left. Damn Canadian. There was a no. Wait, wait. There was a. I'm pretty sure there was a, a treasure in the back there. Be the light. Here. Are you sure? I could have sworn I saw a treasure. No, never mind. Okay, I'm just fine. Okay. Sorry. Damn Canadian. <laughs> I mean, what that's supposed to be. I am uh, Steve Burnside. Oh wow, shit, that's too many balls for one hole. Never even know. <laughs> nah, no, don't try that. Lower it. Oh, there you go. Ooh. I must say, I'm impressed, Lara. This is magnificent. It's quite the display, isn't it? Lake Titicaca. Oh my god. Look at her. She's beautiful. We were so close before. So close. Wonderful, Lara. Do you notice anything familiar about her sword? That's what Rutland was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? One of the pieces. The tip has broken off. My god, I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before, at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. Oh, shit. She's gonna raid their tombs. She is a tomb raider. Just, you know, all she, you know, all oh, spread them wide and... Raid my tomb! <laughs> Let me know if our mercenary friends get me closer to them. Got it. Howie. That's right. Make it back with the missing. I suppose I'll have to take the high road back. Okay. All right, there you go. This is a short game. Uh. 13% done already. Yeah, it must be. It's been a while since I played it. These were, I don't think, yeah, I think these were probably like within that ballpark of like probably like a 
like Resident Evil length, like maybe like seven, eight hours sort of deal. So, but fair enough. Well, I mean, there's a lot of collectibles too. So for me, it was longer. So we're here just for the story and the experience. And for the swimsuits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Third, of course. <laughs> oh my god. If All right, guys. Suits or panty blow off. We got a gal gun. Oh my god. No, they don't blow them off. Please, for the love of God, don't blow them off. Because that's not okay then. <laughs> they gotta stay on on that one. <laughs> um, Unless you're of that age. No, that's the age. <laughs> um, all right, and guys. Gender. Still, though. <laughs> Take you a second. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, well, that'll do it for this episode. We will wrap up Escape the Tomb. We're gonna um, wrap it up. Escape the Tomb. Oh, escaping the tomb. Yeah. Um, Your metaphors are confused. Confuse me. Uh, we're escaping the tomb in the next episode, so definitely stay tuned. If you liked, give us a thumbs up. Helps us out a lot. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on when we do Escape the Tomb. And you get to find out more about Excalibur. And then question of the day is, uh, what is your favorite swimsuit from the series? Black. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? I, I remember the black one. <laughs> I don't think they have names. I mean, there's different colors and whatnot. <laughs> what thing? Yeah, that's fine. It's the same. Black what favorite swimsuit? swimsuit? What compliments Laura the best? Same thing. Compliments Laura the best. Black. Is uh nothing. Is uh her 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 whatever his name is Viz. He compliments her all the time. <laughs> With his hands. <laughs> you said it really. No, I did it. You said it. <laughs> all right, I guys. said he's buff, and you're like with his hands. Yeah, because he sits on the computer all day watching Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>